Pulsus MJB3 desktop mask liner. Uh, this one is a, a standard uh, MJB3 UV 300 by 400 nanometers mask liner. The UV source lamp in this machine is USH350DS of Fushio, Japan. Uh, this, the system includes the lamp housing the sample holder and the alignment module, the microscope, and the lamp power supply. And the system is to be operated from the control switches, the main power switch, and there's a selected switch for high precision HP mode or ST mode. And a timer. Uh, it can be adjusted from fraction of a second to hours for the exposure time. The manometer box has the regulators for the pressure and nitrogen pressure and the parallelity pressure and the vapor, vapor pressure which should be about one bar the parallelity pressure about two bar and the, ex the total unit runs at four bar which is approximately 60 psi pressure this system is set up for three inch wafers and this is the chuck with a pouring uh, or a gasket for the contact vacuum seal already installed here. The wafer is uh, held on the chuck uh, under vacuum through these perforations and this slotted screw is for the contact vacuum line and uh, once the chuck is properly placed on the table. It can be slided in. Here's the mask holder. The mask is handled under vacuum through this line. The mask vacuum is enabled by this yellow push button switch here, the mask. And once the mask is aligned properly, let us slide in the mask holder groove and tighten these knobs. And here, these are the levers for controlling the stage. Place a wafer on the chart, slide it in. Then using this lever, by rotating it counterclockwise, the wafer comes in contact with the mask. And this lever is to enable the alignment of the chuck, uh, sliding it towards the front by a known amount of distance, beginning to increase the gap between the substrate top and the bottom side of the mask. So when the vapor is in contact with the mass, it's indicated by the blue indicator here, the contact. And when we introduce a separation between the vapor and the mass, it's indicated by the separation. The first step before alignment is to leave the wafer and mass separated. Uh, this is, these are the micrometers for controlling the y-axis movement, the x-axis movement, and the theta rotation. 
So make sure that these two knobs are securely tight so that the mask is not uh, loose. So to start the exposure, press the green exposure button. Now we can see the UV light at the con collimating lens. The timer is enabled. At the end of the timer, the microscope tower moves back and the microscope goes down. After that, rotate the contact lever clockwise and then you can start another cycle. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to start a HP cycle. Select the HP mode, uh, load a wafer, and then contact mode. In HP mode, there's another switch here, which is vacuum chamber, which will generate the, the vacuum between the wafer, the seal gasket on the chuck, and the mask. And the vacuum level is adjustable by this small needle valve. This valve introduces a, non a slow, small amount of nitrogen to reduce the vacuum. And rotating this needle valve clock clockwise increases the vacuum level and counterclockwise decreases the vacuum level. So at any point of time to start the alignment, we slide the separation lever forward and the vacuum chamber light goes out. Now it calls for aligning the, at this moment, you focus the microscope and do the alignment. The microscope tower can be moved by using this manipulator. There are two buttons on this manipulator. Uh, when these buttons are not pushed in, the microscope tower is locked in the position. And pressing the top button enables the y-axis movement and the bottom button enables the x-axis movement. So using this manipulator, the microscope can be positioned at the alignment marks and the microscope has a small lamp illuminator. The illuminator is, the intensity is adjustable here. Uh, in the, by the selector switch. There is also a aperture control to reduce or increase the intensity.
Once the design alignment is achieved, push the separation switch to the rear position, turn on the vacuum chamber, and press export button. Mercury arc lamp, power supply, has two channels, channel 1 is for 365 nanometers, and channel 2 is 405 nanometers wavelength, the intensity levels uh, are 365 nanometers about 9.7 milliwatt per centimeter square and at 405 nanometers, about 23 nanometers. Using an external meter, similar to this, which is a 405 nanometer detector and a meter, uh, the system could be verified. Uh, and calibration parts are here for adjusting the calibration levels and these are the, the desired intensity level can be set from the set potentiometers here but by pressing the set button you can set whatever the desired level is Here is a typical mask. The patterns on the mask should be on the bottom side when it is installed in the mask holder. And when the wafer and the chuck comes in contact with the mask, there is a vacuum generated between the seal and the mask. And there is a potentiometer on the unit which could be at, which could help to adjust the gap between the such chuck and the mask to accommodate the desired thickness wafer. That means the wafer could be of different thicknesses and it is possible to use this machine over a range of different thickness wafers. Uh, I'm demonstrating here the the actual intensity at the wafer plane and the, the dis displayed reading. If this display is pretty much the same and this is for 405 nanometers about 22.6 milliwatt per centimeter square. And here is the comparison of the external meter at 365 nanometers and it's about 9.2 
we can adjust the the power generator reading by adjusting the calibration part to match the 